Well, it's uh, fall. The leaves are falling from the trees and I've got a maple leaf here. Uh, behind me is, of course, uh, the maple tree uh, from where I've got this leaf. And what I want to do today is, is I want to uh, put this leaf under the microscope, but I'm going to do so in a slightly different way because I'm going to show you a method um, on how you can uh, prepare the veins of the leaf. Uh, and uh, I want to remove all of the other tissue so that I only have the veins left over. I'm going to show you how to do that. Of course you need a nice leaf first and there's still plenty of them hanging on the trees and they did not fall to the ground yet but I'm gonna collect a few here. Um, I found that maple leaves uh, work best. Uh, there are also other leaves that uh, probably work uh, fine but uh, oak leaves uh, well didn't work quite um, as well as a matter of fact it didn't work at all. All you have to do is, is uh, you have to place the leaves um, into a pot of water and you have to simmer it uh, for a few hours. For a few hours maybe two hours, three hours, maybe possibly even four hours um, and uh, you can see that the color changes and then you take uh, a stiff brush and you simply remove all of the tissue and if this doesn't work um, like for example here it started to tear a little bit if this doesn't work then you simply place uh, the leaf back again into the boiling pot of water and uh, you give it uh, another boil for maybe half an hour or so uh, but the tissue should be uh, removable quite easily here a little bit in time lapse you can see it's uh, quite a satisfying little activity here um, and uh, the tissue the soft tissue can be removed quite easily of course you have to uh, do this on both sides and the skeleton uh, that is uh, these are the vessels um, of the leaf uh, that transport the water um, and you can see that the leaf becomes quite transparent here um, and the vessels the skeleton is, is actually quite uh, quite strong and uh, surprisingly yeah flexible as well um, you give it a rinse in in clear water um, the water itself uh, has to be then removed you have to dry the leaf um, and what i've done is, is i placed it between two sheets of tissue paper and then uh, a microscopy book goes on top of it because if you don't put any weight on it then the leaves will wrinkle when they dry uh, one of the leaves I tried to stain with uh, blue fountain pen ink and this uh, worked uh, quite fine for a minute or so. I left it um, in the ink and then of course you have to remove uh, the ink again and you press it again and you dry it again between um, yeah, a, a book and this is how they look like. Look, They look kind of nice. Um, and I've uh, seen now that the leaves actually, yeah, some of the tissue is still sticking um, on the leaf. Uh, so I could have done a slightly better job, but nevertheless, uh, they look quite nice. Yeah, all of those dots here, this seems to be the place where the leaf already started to decompose a little bit. Should have selected my leaf a little bit better. You can also see it's a little bit wrinkly because it was not completely dried yet. Um, but the patterns are quite uh, nice and uh, what I want to do is, is I'm going to show you now this is a leaf that I made a few years ago and three, two, one and zoom. Okay, so that is now a leaf that I put under the scanner um, and uh, with a high resolution scan I captured this leaf. Let's try this again. Okay, here is uh, again and three, two, one and Zoom. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Um, it's like this that uh, I used uh, in my uh, video, ed video, video editing software to do this zoom. But of course I also have now a new stereo microscope which makes me quite happy. So I placed it on the stage of the stereo microscope um, and I also did a little bit of, of observation this way. And this is what I'm going to show you right now. So this is now under the stereo microscope. Uh, it's one of those uh, dark spots a little bit and now what I'm doing is, is um, I've got a zoom function in my stereo microscope so this means I'm turning the zoom knob and at the same time I have to focus um, so I have to turn two knobs at the same time and if I don't do that uh, with the right speed then the image can go a little bit out of focus so it's uh, yeah, I'm doing this manually now okay in contrast uh, to the previous uh, image that I showed you. This is now a, an optical thing that I'm doing and I'm able to zoom in all the way from uh, seven times uh, magnification to 45 times magnification. And uh, yeah, and you can still see a little bit. There's uh, between the vessels, uh, there is still um, a little bit of uh, tissue sticking sticking there should have uh, removed it a little bit more carefully now that is of course the leaf uh, that I did not stain um, and uh, you can see how int intricate the details are 
Yeah, and uh, looks looks kind of nice. Uh, the light uh, was already quite uh, dark, uh, so you can see a little bit of camera noise. I zoomed out too quickly, so the camera was not able to adjust uh, to the brightness as, as quickly. Uh, now let's put in the blue leaf, and this is now the one that I stained. And now I'm zooming in a little bit faster. And again, you can see here um, the tissue that has not yet been removed. And if you look very carefully, you can actually see that there are still some cells left. And I think this might be the nuclei that you see here. The dots, the darker dots um, that you see might be the nuclei of, um, of the cell. In any case, uh, it's fascinating to see um, how many details you're still able to see here. Again, uh, the image, I'm not totally happy with the image yet. I still have to optimize my camera system a little bit. It is a little bit noisy. Um, so the blurriness that you see is uh, in part uh, because of the camera noise, because of the low light intensity. Now there is this little plate that I can use here and I can turn it around um, and now I get a different background color. So I'm gonna try this now uh, with a dark background. Um, and this is what I see with a dark background. It looks the contrast is a little bit nicer and I'm trying to again find an optimal place here somewhere I'm not zooming around so much right now I just uh, want to find different places I have to refocus again because the leaf is not completely flat or the skeleton I should rather say is not completely flat um, and I'm simply looking around now for some interesting objects to see yeah here the leaf was a little bit wrapped around um, and had a crease in any case, um, what I can say is, is that during the brushing process, luckily not many of the vessels were damaged, uh, so it works quite well. Okay, now that is a static image and here I'm doing again a dig digital zoom and I corrected the images a little bit uh, for color contrast. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. I can recommend doing this. Okay, so this is how you make uh, skeleton leaves, skeleton leaves, no, leaf skeletons and how to put them under the microscope. It's one of those uh, nice examples uh, where you can see that uh, stereo microscopes, as a matter of fact, are probably much better to be used uh, than the compound microscopes. Um, all you gotta do is you gotta take the leaf, put it under the microscope and you can start observing. And in any case, uh, yeah, please, uh, if you liked it, uh, this video, please consider subscribing. Um, I'm going to uh, publish a video a new video every week approximately about uh, different uh, different topics relating to microscopy and of course I'll also show you how to prepare samples and how it looks like under the microscope and all these things there are a whole bunch of links also on the bottom um, also there is a web shop uh, that you might want to visit um, also there is a second YouTube channel that I have where you can uh, get some information more about microscopes uh, themselves so this channel here is more about the observing part and then I have a second one which is more about the hardware in any case I wish you all the best happy micro hunting even though we did not look at any microbes today but I wish you all the best and see you around next time bye bye